Hello stamping friends, this is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in San Diego, California, where the sun is trying to come out, but it's a little chilly for us, which means 60 degrees, which to you guys uh, back on the East Coast or other places, that seems kind of warm, but for us, we're chilly. So got my jacket on a little snugly here while my husband is watching, watching football. Hey Carmen, Merry Christmas to everybody watching and hope that you're having a great day. And I figured some people would use this, hey Roz, as a great excuse to, to just tell their family, hey, I've got something I have to do because that's what I do on, on Mondays at one. Um, so I decided to come on anyway, even though my husband thought it was nuts. So today we're gonna play with a new bundle from the January to April uh, mini catalog that comes out now for demonstrators. One of the things I love about being a demonstrator is I get new product early and comes out January 4th to, the, to customers. If you're a customer of mine, um, you should have your uh, catalog by now. If you don't, it's coming this week. If you don't get it this week, let me know because I sent them out last week, but who knows with what's going on with everybody sending packages now. Anyway, so we're going to play with something from our new catalog. Yay! Just a reminder though that you only have, what is it, like 10 days or two weeks? Less than two weeks to get stuff that you want from the September through December catalog and lots of stuff is already selling out there but um, hopefully you all have what you want and need and can use even for for next year we got some great things carrying over but this is all about the new catalog so I'm gonna put you down here hopefully that's sort of straight that's down a little too far so I'm not yet allowed to show you what's in the catalog. I can only show you the front now, but for those of you that have the catalog, I am on page oops, yep, 28 of the new catalog with the Everyday Details set bundle. And y'all know that if you buy them together, you get you get 10% off. And I'd have to tell you that the main reason that I liked this bundle, usually for me, it's the stamps that catch my eye, but this time it was really the dies that caught my eye. Um, just to show you the stamp set, and you'll notice none of these dies are cutting out anything on this stamp set. So they really are kind of independent, but they've got some some lovely fonts, some lovely uh, sentiments. This little cute nest is adorable. You can even stick one of those birds from um, the paper flying away, something like that, um, on this nest. I just thought of that looking at that. We'll have to try that. But, you know, the star of this, this bundle is really this set of dies. Now this one is not a die that cuts out, it just makes this mark kind of like a background thing, same for these. But you have dies on here that are kind of two for one dies. There's one in these rectangles and there's one in the circles. And hopefully you can see that what they're going to do is cut out an inner rectangle or an inner circle but also leaves dots on the outside. Let me show you what that means. So that means if you take, for instance, this rectangle die, and this is just a, I can't remember if it was, yeah, this is a four by five and a quarter sheet, and you use this die to cut this out, what you're left with is, is this big one, and this little one cuts out. So does that make sense? And the same thing happens with that, oops, with that circle die. So it cuts out the circle uh, that's left there. And I think this is about a three and a half inch square that I did. But then you also have these other circles that don't do this two for one, but a big circle, that's a nice really big circle and smaller ones. This one just has little teeny dots. 
And the same thing for the rectangles. Okay, same idea. And the other cool thing, let's put this over here because we're gonna, whoops, let's not lose it because we're gonna need that one. The other cool thing about this set is that it works very nicely with some of our other sets. So for instance, we're gonna use this today and see how you could cut that out and then double cut it. Um, you can see how some of these will fit, like that one will fit on the inside of there perfectly. Um, same thing with our radiating stitches. You could use that around the outside of that, as well as one around the inside. Or I think what I was also going to show you is this big one fits around here pretty nicely too. Or around this one. That's probably better even. So see how it plays nicely with some other, some other sets that we have. Um, and then also, uh, let me go grab one that I forgot. Actually, two that I forgot. I mean, obviously, the circles are going to play well with your, whoops, with your detail, um, I mean, with your deckled circles. I don't have the deckled rectangles, but it would play well with that. So you could, you know, layer these up however you wanted with the circles. And then it also is going to play well with the stylish shapes, both sets. So you can see how that would look really cool. And then one's on the inside as well. Nice, huh? And um, not, not quite so much the squares, but it's fun to see how things will, you know, be able to mix and match with your, with your other sets. Okay, let's move all of this out of the way. And, oh, I know one thing I wanted to show you. you the one that I showed you that goes, that we're actually going to use today that goes inside and outside. This is how I use the outside, and this is how I use the inside. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make this card, um, but you can see how when it cuts that double shape, you're going to get one that you can easily use on another card. All right, so I didn't do too much cutting out today, and we're going to start by cutting that out. Oh, let me show you the paper we're using. We are using the Poetic Expressions pa paper. I showed you this set last time, but I didn't use any of the paper. So this time I'm using the paper, and you can see that it has a lot of our in colors in it. Um, Hey Sandy, hey Susan, we got some other people watching. So we've got our, our Moody Mauve, we've got a lot of our um, Wild Wheat. I'd have to say it's not one of those colors I've used a lot of, but I am today and I'm enjoying how it goes with the bubble bath. So this is one side of the paper, and then the other side of the paper has the blues and greens, the boho blue, uh, what's the green that's in here, Mossy Meadow. And Lost Lagoon is also in here. They like that one. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, so that's what we're using today. So first thing, one thing I wanted to talk about with using, this is um, this scallop shape die, is I always cut mine a little bit bigger when I'm using this die. Four inches seems to be fine, but I do better cutting it a little bigger than five and a quarter. That's just my tip on that one. All right. So let's put that through. Let's 
shake the whole table. And then while we're here, I'm gonna take the bubble bath piece. And like I said, we're, this time we're using this piece that has the double stitching. You'll see it easier when it comes out. And this piece is four by five and a quarter. And let me do something I didn't do before, which it works much better if you don't send the flat side through, if you angle it a little bit, that seems to work a whole lot better. Let's just see how much easier that's going through than I had trouble doing that last time. And I just wanna show you that these dies in the machine are pretty darn easy to use. And I know a couple people said to me, I don't know, I don't like having to go back and forth on these things. You see, I only went one direction and I think every single one of those little circles came out just fine. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to get them out of here later, but, and so see how I can now take this and use it for a whole nother, another card. And in fact, I probably will. So we got Valentine's coming up. All right, so let's get all these little pieces out of here as they go flying. I don't know what I would do without this little tool. All right. You guys notice I'm using my glass mat and you're getting that glass mat if you sign up to be a demonstrator during um, celebration, plus the little silicone mat that can sit over here and you can use when you're water coloring as well as the little chamois that's kind of a lighter weight more flexible version that I'm actually really liking from that other chamois. So this is a piece of bubble bath that's eight and a half by five and a half and scored by at four and a quarter. And we are just going to glue this down these two pieces. mostly so that I don't lose them. When I use this one, I don't actually glue down all these little side things because I don't think it's really necessary. And I don't like having glue spill out everywhere. Isn't that pretty? Now, doesn't that wild wheat look, um, look like gold here? That's what I like about using it with this paper. So we'll put both of these in. Like I said, mostly so I don't lose them. All right, so now on to some stamping. So I've got just a little piece of white, basic white, and I've got the um, stamp with the cup on it, the little teacup, and my wild wheat. And I know sometimes when people look at these images, they think, oh, I don't want this because I don't want to have to color so much. And that's what we're about today is to show you, you really don't have to do a ton of coloring on this one. make it look good and then one more stamp thing and that is our sentiment that says you make every day a little brighter now you could use that on pretty much anything Okay, and I 
am just going to take a little bubble bath blends and color in the flower. But the other thing I'm going to do is take a blending brush. Do you guys have these blending brushes? It's really great for when you don't have all the colors of things because you can actually use it to move some of this color around to make it look like you've colored in the leaves a little bit without having, you see that? And it can help like with shading. We're gonna just shade that around a little bit more. Now this is best done when you've just stamped. So even, I can tell the difference between this one versus this one. This one, it's easier to kind of move the ink around. But see how that works really well when you don't have all the blends for things? You can also use that to even pick up more color than what I did. Anyway, so these are my blends. This is the bubble bath. Better be the bubble bath, the dark. And we're just going to put that kind of towards the center. And then I'm going to take the bigger end of the light bubble bath and just blend it out. So like I said, I'm not doing a ton of coloring on here. And it still looks nice. And it still looks like I added a little bit to that. All right, now, these do not have a die. I was just looking all over for the die, and there is no die. So we actually have to cut them out. So while I'm doing that, those of you who already have your catalog can tell me, do you have a favorite yet from what you've seen in the, um, in the new catalog or what you're excited about getting or if you're a demonstrator, what you've already bought that you're having fun playing with. And if you don't have your catalog in Art of Demonstrator, tell me how your Christmas is going and what's I'm sure most of you have opened presents already and what your favorite present is that somebody either got you or you got somebody else. I always get so excited when I feel like I totally hit the nail on the head with somebody with, the, with a present. That makes me just feel so good. And usually those kind of presents are ones that I've kind of just observe, either observed somebody needing, you know, like you're at their house and they're struggling with doing something or making something that you know that there's something out there that would help them along a lot better. Um, for instance, I got my parents' towels and I know that's not that exciting, but it is when you need more towels. I like to cut it down a little bit when I have a bunch to cut out. Got a bunch of people on today going, huh, I have the day off. Everything's closed. Let's watch some new product being used. I don't mind fussy cutting when it's something like this, that the majority of it is, you know, clean lines and easy to cut out. Um, I know it's not gonna be quite as perfect as if I had a, a die, but I don't find this difficult. One thing I thought about doing was even cutting out some more of these, you know, stamping and cutting out more of these flowers to put around. But then I went, yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> I 
And I know some of you just hate fussy cutting, but because you don't think you're good at it. And all I can say is just try. You know, leave big, wide margins, kind of like you would have if you had the die. Because you can always come back and make them smaller, and that way if you've left pretty wide margins, like I used to do much wider margins when I first started doing this, because you can always come back. But that way if you screw up something, it's pretty easy to, to fix it. Playing with thoughtful expressions in the kidding around suite. I don't have the kidding around suite yet. I think if once I start having grandbabies, I think maybe I will get more of those little things. So this one, um, I actually am cutting up because I thought it was so long and I thought it would be just more fun on the card if it was cut in pieces. So, all right, so now let's take our, our two teacups and let's get some dimensionals on them. Maybe I'll get a little one up on the top. Do you guys have the mini dimensionals? I find that so helpful when I have these, you know, little ones like this that I just don't want to move around. Okay, I think we're ready to put together. Let's just kind of put them like that. Six grandchildren, wow, Roz. Lots of children. Well, hopefully they all live near you so that you have the pleasure of watching them grow up too. And then I'm gonna take this and glue it down. I figured we have enough things up on dimensionals now that these don't also need to be on dimensionals. Okay, and on this card, I used these um, opaque ovals from the um, uh, annual catalog. But I think this time I'm gonna use these champagne iridescent dots. Now these are loose, so they're really great for, um, for making shaker cards, but you can also use them for these kind of cards just with a either a glue dot or a little dab of glue. I think I'm going to go with the dab of glue, so I'm going to put a dab of glue right there, another one out here, and another one up here. We'll see how that, if that holds them well. Because to me, those do stand out a little bit more than these dots that I used over here. And I think they're different sizes. Let's see. Yeah, this one is a different size. Kind of a little bit smaller than that one. Those are cool. Which do you guys like better, these dots? or the little, the little bubble bath ovals. I'm not sure what color, I mean, it says these are champagne. I'm not sure what color they're supposed to match with. They are supposed to go with this set, so I guess they kind of go with the wild wheat. Um, but that's kind of cool. And then I want to get this back in here because I forgot to stamp something for the inside. 
Now, like I said, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to be using this for. So I'm not putting any other sentiment other than what's on the front. But I do want to just stamp a, um, a teacup inside too. I wasn't going to color it, but I don't know. Let's get a little pink in there. I don't know if I'd ever put pink with wild wheat, so I love it that Stampin' Up! helps me think of combinations for things that work. And I'm going to start thinking more of this wild wheat as gold. And then that... I think maybe I'll use it a little bit more if I can think of it as gold. Than what I've been calling it. You guys want to know what I've been calling it? It's not very nice, so maybe I won't say it. <laughs> you like the champagne a little more? Yeah, like I said, I didn't even realize that I had it because I ordered that whole Poetic Expression Suite. Oh, well, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? So you could do a card just that has, you know, like these stamped in a row without even cutting them out, like stamp them up the side, put a sentiment in the middle. All right, so we got both of them. Either one looks nice, but I do think the champagne kind of stands out a little bit more. I could have also used, if I could find them, I Trying to remember. Oh, yeah, I could have used these, too. This would have been another thing to use, the, um, the dots. Are these called in-color dots? That's another choice, too. So I've got different choices to use on here. All right. Turn you guys back up. It was good to see you all on a nice Christmas day. And hope that you have a great rest of your year. And I will see you on New Year's Day, I guess, next Monday at uh, 1 o'clock Pacific time. Take care, everybody. Bye.